Hi guys, it's Kate here from dudehack.com and today we're going to find out if you can be private on Bumble. When you're using a dating app, the idea that your profile could just pop up in front of pretty much anyone is a little bit worrying. Plenty of people are looking for something at least semi-discreet from their dating app experience. But can that be achieved on the most popular dating apps like Bumble? Well, that's what you're here to find out. But first, a little reminder, my name's Kate from dudehack.com, a website that is everything online dating. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you check it out. Oh, and if by the end of this video, you're still even slightly unsure what dating app is for you, I highly suggest you go and take Dude Hacks free quiz, which is gonna tell you what dating app works best for you. And if you would like to pick up your game in the online dating world, go and check out Dude Hacks free ebook called Tinder Hacked, a guide to teach you how to not completely suck at online dating. But you're here to find out if you can be private on Bumble, so let's get into it. So, can you be private on Bumble? Of course, private can mean a few things and will have different connotations for different people. On Bumble, you can turn on incognito mode and to an extent control who sees your profile and the info that you share. But there's always still an occasional data breach that you should keep in mind and protect yourself against with things like having a strong password, making sure that you only log in on secure Wi-Fi, and be sensible with who you trust, links that you follow, and other online safety basics. If by private you mean can you control the info that you're showing and who it is being shown to on Bumble, then yes, to a certain extent, you can be private on Bumble. That being said, it is hard to hide your profile from other users before you make contact with them. And unavoidably, once you sign up, the app does have your data. Plus, as online dating is about getting to know each other a little bit before you meet them, you can kind of, you kind of have to share some information about yourself, otherwise what's the point? Bumble are certainly aware of privacy issues though and have recently introduced snooze so that users can take a break from being visible on the site and incognito mode. What is Bumble incognito mode? Bumble's incognito mode is only available to users who have paid for boost or premium. If you want to keep things private on Bumble, then forking out for premium and incognito mode is your best bet if you can afford it. When Bumble's incognito mode is on, other users will only see you once you've swiped right on them. You won't show up in anyone's feed if you have swiped left on them or if they haven't shown up as an option for you yet. This gives you a pretty fine-tuned control on who sees you on the app and is the most advanced privacy feature of its kind on any of the mainstream dating apps. But as I said, you do have to pay for this access. What is Bumble Snooze? Bumble's new snooze feature allows you to step away from the digital dating for a while. While your account is snoozed, you won't appear to new potential matches, so you won't be in anyone's feed. You will still be able to continue chatting to the people that you've already connected with, but they'll also be able to see that you're snooze. So hopefully they will also give you the space that if that's what you're looking for. Whether you're digitally detoxing or just testing out whether or whether or not you can survive without swiping, snooze is super easy to turn on and off. You can snooze for a set amount of time or indefinitely by hopping into the settings and turning on and off snooze. We are about to jump into if your friends can see if you're on Bumble. But before we do that, if you are liking this video so far, we'd love if you could give it a like and even hit that subscribe button for similar content. Can your friends see you on Bumble? Well, that depends. If your friends are on Bumble and you're on Bumble and neither of you are snoozed or incognito, then yes, you might very well pop up on your friend's Bumble feed. You won't be able to chat on Bumble unless both of you have swiped right and then either the female user initiates a conversation or if you're both men or both women, one of you initiates and the other replies within 24 hours. For this reason, running into pals on Bumble isn't too much of a worry for most users. I mean, 
they're using the dating app too. If you really don't want to be caught on Bumble, then I'd suggest doing a little self-investigation on why you're on the app in the first place. I mean, I get it being a little bit embarrassing, but everyone uses dating apps these days. So if you shouldn't be on Bumble, then maybe have a rethink why. <laughs> Is Bumble confidential? I mean, no dating app is confidential. Apart from anything else, technically, everything on your profile is in the public domain and everything, including messages, can easily be screenshot. If you're worried about privacy on Bumble or any other dating app, the solution is simple. Just don't give away too much information. Don't say where you work or where you go to school and obviously don't give away your address or even your social media handles if you don't want to or if you're worried about the privacy and confidentiality. If you do like someone on Bumble and feel like you can trust them, then my biggest piece of advice would be to meet them. You can tell an awful lot about someone from how they behave in real life rather than talking to them on an app. After that, you can use your initiative in terms of how fast or slow you go with sharing things. Can you control who sees you on Bumble? To an extent, you can control who sees you on Bumble. You can manipulate your preferences, filters, and aimed range to narrow things down, and you can also block or unmatch users you don't fancy interacting with, or in more extreme circumstances, who you don't want to see. Privacy is a big thing, and if you're nervous about it, maybe there's a better app for you. To find out, go and take Dude Hacks free quiz, which is gonna tell you what dating app is gonna work best for you. Oh, and while you're there, grab a copy of Dude Hacks free ebook, a guide to teach you how to not completely suck at online dating. And that's all on can you go private on Bumble? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and check back in for regular videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.